Hey guys, Marco here from Aviator Life CS. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll finish uh, with the fuel system, and uh, this is part three. And we're going to talk about normal operations and normal operations, what the FCTM says for the fuel system, and uh, we will reveal also some uh, supplementary procedures on uh, FCON Volume 1. So let's go with uh, normal operations first. And it says for pre flight, you set the fuel control panel for engine start. First, make sure that the engine valve and spar valve close lights are illuminated dim, these lights here, and the filter bypass lights are extinguished. And we see them extinguished. Close the cross seat valve, this one. Make sure the valve open light is extinguished. It is extinguished and the total fuel quantity matches these patch requirements. Turn on the fuel pumps for the tanks that contain fuel. In this case, we have the main uh, fuel tanks pumps on. Make sure the low pressure lights are extinguished. So you can see them extinguished here. And the fuel control panel is now set for the engine start. For normal ground operations, the APU uses suction to get fuel from main fuel tank number one, but extended APU operations can cause a fuel imbalance. If extended APU operations are required, fuel from the center tank is used to prevent an imbalance. Turn on the left center tank fuel pump, in this case it is on. Now the APU gets fuel from the center tank. When flight is completed and the airplane is at the gate, after engine shut down, turn off all the fuel pumps. Caution, position the center tank fuel pump switches on only if the fuel quantity in the center tank exceeds 453 kilograms. Caution, do not operate the center tank fuel pumps with the flight deck unattended. Okay, so I believe this is worth reading from FCON Volume 1. It says, it's a, if a fluid leak other than a continuous stream from any of the engine drains is discovered during the exterior inspection, the engine can be started. If during engine start, the ground crew reports a fluid leak from an engine drain, the engine start may be continued. If the fluid leak continues after the engine is stable at idle, do one of the following. Shut down the engine for maintenance action or run the engine at idle thrust for up to five minutes. If the fluid leak stops during this time, no maintenance action is needed. Or shut down and restart the engine. Run the engine at idle thrust for up to five minutes. If the fluid leak stops during this time, no maintenance action is needed. Okay, so now we will continue with abnormal operations. There are three abnormal conditions that relate to fuel quantity. They are fuel configuration, fuel imbalance, and low fuel. With these conditions, an amber alert shows on the affected indicator and the digits and R color change to amber. The fuel low alert inhibits the fuel imbalance alert when the two conditions exist. And these ones are the non-normal checklist in section 12 of the QRH we can find for the fuel system. And we are going to review each of them. Let's talk about the config uh, indication and the fuel quantity indicator. Condition, all of these occur. Both center tank fuel pump switches are off. There is more than 726 kilograms of fuel in the center tank. An engine is running. Number one, do not accomplish this procedure until establishing a level flight attitude. Then center fuel uh, pump switches both on. These switches go to on. Verify that the low pressure lights extinguish. Resume normal fuel management. Now, if we talk about the cross-fit selector inoperative, valve open light may or may not be illuminated. 
condition, one of the following, of course, the crossfit valve open light stays illuminated bright blue, this light here. The crossfit selector is in the open position and the crossfit valve open light is extinguished. When the crossfit selector is rotated to a new position, the crossfit valve open light does not illuminate bright blue. Number one, check the fuel crossfit valve circuit breaker. Number two, Choose one, fuel crossfit valve circuit breaker is stripped. It is not possible to determine the position of the fuel crossfit valve. Note, verify that the sufficient fuel is available to both engines to complete the flight. Do not accomplish the following checklist. Inbound. Fuel crossfit valve circuit breaker is not stripped. Go to step three. So if we check step three, it says choose one. Crossfit selector is in the closed position. Crossfit valve is failed open. Note, maintain fuel balance with selective use of fuel pumps. Crossfit selector is in the open position, like here. Crossfit valve is failed closed. Note, as conditions allow, vary engine thrust as needed to maintain fuel balance. Verify that sufficient fuel is available to both engines to complete the flight. Now, if we talk about the fuel filter bypass, light filter bypass you can see it here and here condition fuel contamination can cause fuel to bypass the engine fuel filter choose one only one filter bypass light engine one or engine two has illuminated during the flight note erratic engine operation and flame out may occur on the affected engine due to fuel contamination filter bypass lights for both engines illuminate or have illuminated at any time during the flight either separately or at the same time, go to step two. Step two says, plan to land at the nearest suitable airport. Note, erratic engine operation and flame out may occur on either or both engines due to fuel contamination. All right. Now we'll talk about the fuel leak in the engine. And this is quite a long checklist, so let's see what it says. Condition an engine fuel leak is suspected for the reasons listed in the additional information section of this checklist. And we are going to check uh, that in the next slide. Objective con to confirm there is an engine fuel leak and shut down the affected engine if needed. This checklist does not address the unlikely possibility of a tank leak. Number one, a diversion may be needed. Number two, and we're going to see it here, main tank fuel pump switches all on. All these switches, they go to the on position. Crossfit selector closed. It is closed. Center fuel pump switches both off. They go to the off position. The fuel config alert may show with fuel in the center tank. The following steps check for an engine fuel leak. Record the main tank fuel quantities and the current time. An engine fuel leak is confirmed if one or both of the following are true. Fuel spray is observed from an engine or struck. A change in fuel imbalance of 230 kilograms within 30 minutes or less. Choose one. Engine fuel leak is confirmed. We go to step 11, which is this one here. Engine fuel leak is not confirmed. Go to step eight. If we go to step eight first, the center tank contains usable fuel. Go to step nine. If the center tank does not contain usable fuel, you go to step 10. So if it, if it contains usable fuel, center fuel pump switches both on, resume normal fuel management. If we go to a step 11, if, if the engine fuel leak is confirmed, it says the following steps shut down the engine to stop an engine fuel leak. The engine to be shut down is the engine on the side where the fuel quantity decreased faster. Outer throttle disengaged. Thrust lever affected engine confirm and close. When the affected engine is at idle thrust, engine stall lever affected engine confirm cut off. This closes the spark valve and stops an engine fuel leak. Pack switch affected side off. This causes the operating pack to regulate to high flow in flight with the flaps up. So now if we have uh, these models here, this serial number, 
choose one. APU is available for start. APU is start. When APU is running, APU gen switch affected side on. Go to step 18. If APU is not available, go to step 18. Transponder mode selector TA. This prevents client commands, which can ex exceed single engine performance capability. We'll continue reading for this uh, serial number. Choose one. APU is available for start. APU start. When APU is running, APU gen switch affected side on. Go to step 20. And if the APU is not available, we also go to step 20. Step 20 says transponder mode selector TA only. This prevents client commands, which can exceed single engine performance capability. Isolation valve switch verify auto. This ensures bleeder is available to both wins if win and EIS is needed. Choose one. Fuel low alert is shown. Go to step 23. Fuel low alert is not shown. Go to step 25. So if we go to step 23, it says CrossFit selector open. This ensures that all fuel is available to the running engine. Fuel pumps switches all on. This ensures that the all that all fuel is available for use. Now, if the fuel alert is not shown, go to step 25. Plan to land at the nearest suitable airport. Note, balance fuel as needed. All remaining fuel can be used for the running engine. Note, do not use FMC performance predictions. And then we'll go to the one engine inoperative landing checklist on page 7.32. Now, if we read this additional information we talked about in the previous uh, slide, it says the reasons that an engine fuel leak should be suspected. A visual observation of fuel spray. The total fuel quantity is decreasing at a normal rate. An engine has excessive fuel flow. The fuel imbalance alert shows. The fuel low alert shows. The use and reserve fuel message shows on the FMC CDU. The insufficient fuel message shows on the FMC CDU. The check FMC fuel quantity message shows on the FMC CDU. Okay, so if we talk about the fuel pump low pressure, this is a light we are going to see, low pressure. Condition the fuel pump pressure is low. Note, fuel pump low pressure lights may flicker when tank quantity is low and the airplane is in turbulent air or during climb or descent. Choose one. One main tank fuel pump low pressure light is illuminated. If that's the case, main tank fuel pump switch affected pump off. Sufficient fuel pressure is available for normal operation. Now, if both main tank fuel pump low pressure lights are illuminated, note at high altitude thrust deterioration or engine flame out may occur. One center tank fuel pump low pressure light is illuminated. We'll go to step two, which says crossfit selector open. This prevents fuel imbalance. Center fuel pump switch affected side off. When the other center tank fuel pump low pressure light illuminates, cross fit selector close, remaining center tank fuel pump switch off. Both center tank fuel pump low pressure lights are illuminated. We'll go to step five. Let's see what it says. Center fuel pump switches both off. Fuel config alert may show with fuel in the center tank. Center tank fuel is unusable. Main tank fuel may not be sufficient for the planned flight. Let's continue with fuel quantity indication inoperative and uh, fuel temperature low. Let's read about the fuel quantity indication inoperative. Condition, the fuel quantity indication is blank. Enter and periodically update the manually calculated fuel weight on the FMC performance init page. Now, if we talk about the fuel temperature low condition, fuel temperature is near the minimum. When fuel temperature is approaching the fuel temperature limit, 3 degrees Celsius above the fuel freeze point or minus 43 Celsius, whichever is higher, increase the speed, change altitude and or deviate to a warmer air mass to achieve a TAT equal to or higher than the fuel temperature limit. TAT will increase approximately 0.5 to 0.7 degrees Celsius 
for each 0.01 Mach increase in speed. In extreme conditions, it may be necessary to descend as slow as flight level 250. Now, if we talk about the imbalance condition, there is a fuel imbalance between the main tanks. Objective to decide if a fuel leak is suspected, to balance fuel if a fuel leak is not suspected. If an engine has low fuel flow and unusual engine indications, the imbalance alert may show due to an engine malfunction instead of a fuel leak. The imbalance alert may be caused by a fuel leak, an inoperative crossfit valve, or a fuel imbalance. A fuel leak should be suspected if one or more of the following are true. The total fuel remaining is less than the planned fuel remaining. An engine has excessive fuel flow. Choose one. A fuel leak is suspected. Go to the fuel leak engine checklist on page 12.6. A fuel leak is not suspected. Go to step five. So if we go to step five, CrossFit selector open. We can see it open here. Verify that valve open light illuminates bright, then dim. This indicates that the crossfit valve is operating correctly. Choose one. Crossfit valve is operating correctly. We'll go to step seven. Crossfit valve is not operating correctly. Go to the crossfit selector and operative checklist on page 12.2. So we we'll go to step seven here. Choose one. Main tank one quantity is low. Main tank one fuel pump switches both off. This allows fuel from the higher quantity tank to feed both engines. So this switches off. Go to step eight. The step eight says when fuel balancing is complete, main tank fuel pumps switches all on. All these switches on. Crossfit selector close. So we need to close this one. Now, if we go to the other options with main tank two quantity slow, main tank two fuel pump switches both off. This one's off. This allows fuel from the higher quantity tank to feed both engines. And then we'll go to step eight again, which we already read. Now, if we talk about the low fuel indication, the condition, the flow quantity is low in a main tank. Objective is to decide if a fuel leak is suspected to ensure that all fuel is available for use. Note, avoid high nose up attitude. Make thrust changes slowly and smoothly. This reduces the possibility of uncovering fuel pumps. The fuel low alert may be caused by a fuel leak or low fuel. A fuel leak should be suspected if any or more of the following are true. The total fuel remaining is less than the planned fuel remaining. An engine has excessive fuel flow. One main tank is abnormally low compared to the other main tank and the expected fuel remaining in the tanks. Choose one, a fuel leak is suspected. If it is, go to the fuel leak engine checklist on page 12.6. A fuel leak is not suspected, go to step four. A step four says, crossfit selector open. This ensures that the fuel is available to both engines if the low tank empties. Fuel pump switches all on. This ensures that all fuel is available for use plan to land at the nearest suitable airport. Okay, so that's uh, all about the abnormal operations and the non-normal checklist we have available on the QRH. Now let's talk about uh, the FCTM and what it says about the fuel system. And I'm not going to read the whole thing, but uh, this highlighted information here, I think is uh, very important to know. Uh, let's see, uh, the fuel balance, uh, the primary purpose of the fuel balance limitations on Boeing airplanes is for the structural life of the airframe and landing gear and not for controllability. The primary purpose of the fuel balance alerts is to inform the crew that imbalances beyond the current state may result in increased trim drag and higher fuel consumption. There is a common misconception among flight crews that the fuel cross-feed valve should be opened immediately after an in-flight engine shutdown to prevent fuel imbalance. This practice is contrary to Boeing recommended procedures and could aggravate a fuel imbalance. This practice is especially significant if an engine failure occurs and a fuel leak is present. So here you have really good information about fuel balancing considerations 
uh, you guys please go ahead and take your time to read it now if we look at this information I have highlighted here about the leak system it says anytime an unexpected fuel quantity indication FMC fuel message or imbalance condition is experienced a fuel leak should be considered as a possible cause Maintaining a fuel log and comparing actual fuel burn to the flight plan fuel burn can help the pilot recognize a fuel leak. The engine fuel leak non-normal checklist assumes the leak is between the front spar and the engine. This is the most common type of fuel leak since fuel lines are exposed in the strut. There is no specific fuel leak annotation on the flight deck. A fuel leak must be detected by changes or discrepancies in expected fuel consumption or by some annotation that occurs because of a fuel leak. If we talk a little bit about the low fuel and the approach and landing, in a low fuel condition, the clean configuration should be maintained as long as possible during the descent and approach to conserve fuel. However, Initiate configuration changes early enough to provide a smooth, a slow deceleration to final approach speed to prevent fuel from running forward in the tanks. Runway conditions permitting, heavy braking and high levels of reverse thrust should be avoided to prevent uncovering all fuel pumps and possible engine flame out during landing roll. Right? For the go around, it says if a go around is necessary, Slowly and smoothly advance thrust levers and maintain the minimum no-sub body attitude required for a safe climb gradient. Avoid rapid acceleration of the airplane. If any main tank fuel pump low pressure light illuminates, do not turn the fuel pump switches off. Okay, now we can talk about the FCON Volume 1 supplementary uh, procedures and uh, I'm going to start talking about the fuel balancing. If an engine fuel leak is suspected, accomplish the fuel leak engine checklist. If the fuel imbalance alert shows, accomplish the imbalance checklist. Maintain main tank number one and number two fuel balance within limitations. Note fuel pump pressure should be supplied to the engines at all times. At a high altitude without fuel pump pressure, thrust deterioration or engine flame out may occur. If the center tank contains fuel, Center tank fuel pump switches off. Fuel config indication may be displayed with fuel in the center tank. Crossfit selector open. Fuel pump switches low tank off. When quantities are balanced, fuel pump switches main tank on. Center tank fuel pump switches on. Crossfit selector close. If the center tank contains no fuel, crossfit selector open. Fuel pump switches low tank off. When quantities are balanced, fuel pump switches on, cross feed selector closed. Okay, for the refueling, we talked about it in the, our previous video, in the part two of the fuel system. So feel free to go to the uh, link uh, above for the suggested video and uh, you can review the refueling part right there. Let's talk about ground transfer of fuel. Fuel can be transferred from one tank to another tank using the fuel pumps, fueling valve, the fueling valve, and crossfeed valve. AC power must be available. Note, before transferring fuel, ensure that the associated fuel pump low pressure lights are operating. Caution, transferring fuel with passengers on board is prohibited unless the fuel quantity in the tank from which fuel is being taken is maintained at or above 2,000 pounds or 900 kilograms. So to transfer fuel from the main tanks to the center tank, main tank fuel pump switches on, cross feed selector open, manual defueling valve open, center tank fueling valve switch open, fuel transfer monitor, the center tank fuel quantity indicator shows an increase in fuel. The main tank indicators show a decrease in fuel. When a fuel pump low pressure light illuminates, turn off the associated fuel pump. When the required amount of fuel has been transferred, center tank fueling valve switch closed, manual defueling valve closed, crossfit selector closed, 
main tank fuel pump switches off. Main tanks, refill, refueling panel, and the fueling panel access doors closed. Now, if we talk about the fuel crossfit valve check, crossfit selector open, verify crossfit valve open light illuminates bright and then dim, crossfit selector close, verify crossfit valve open light illuminates bright and then extinguishes. Okay guys, with this we complete part three of the fuel system. If you liked uh, this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now. And if you think these videos could be useful for somebody else, share them. And that's going to help me a lot to grow this channel. Next week, uh, we will talk uh, about the electrical system. Until then, guys, please take care and hope to see you soon.